Hi, I'm Rosalind Satchel. I'm a professor at Kennesaw State University, where I'm the lead researcher at the Radau Institute for Social Equity. I'm also a faculty associate at Harvard University with the Berkman Klein Center for Internet and Society. I've been able to serve the African Methodist Episcopal Church as an ordained minister for about 25 years now and serve a, a number of churches um, in the community. I'm a mom, I'm a daughter, I'm really excited about those titles more than anything. And as a mom and a daughter, I've been able to work as an advocate in a way that has been helpful not only to my family, but also the community at large. Ultimately, what I found with the communities that I serve that are largely in the black community and in the historic black church is that Folks just don't really understand, don't really want to go there, um, have been taught uh, different things that are different degrees of truth um, over their lives. And what I found in the process was that if I could talk about it as a conversation about life, as opposed to a conversation about death, they actually received it a whole lot better. I do intra and intercultural communication. That is the area I've taught in for the past decade. So what I constantly am working with communities on, not just in my own community, but in a variety of ethnicities is so we understand how to communicate with each other. Culture gives us a variety of shared symbols, codes, uh, ways of communicating language is one of those, right? And that we have to take the time to honor people's cultures and their traditions before we can think we can teach them or impart to them anything. I see in Compassion and Choice is the potential for that type of intra or intercultural communication dynamic that is more tailored and is more culturally competent. What I like about Compassion and Choices is that I get a chance to bring my organic knowledge together with my academic knowledge and my communal knowledge, and I can help the people around me who otherwise would not have help through these processes. And then they can go on and help other people. You know, I always preach and, and at the end of my sermon, I always say, you know, Lord, please let us be liberated so that we can liberate others. Help us to be empowered so we can empower others, transform us so that we can help others transform themselves. That that becomes a part of how we pass on wealth, how we pass on knowledge and ritual and custom, um, that that's, that's a very important part that often I'm not seeing uh, the, the level of investment. In my, in my work, I'm, I'm really trying to have the difficult conversations, the courageous conversations that get us beyond where we've always been to where we need to go. And remember, talking about death won't kill you.